Hello Taurus, welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma of my Psychic One. It's 11-11, so we'll be doing your tarot reading for the week of 11-11 through 11-17. Let's take a look and see what's going on with you guys this up and coming week. We're going to do your tarot reading with uh, the general spread right here with the um, Dragon Tarot. And then we'll follow it up with Mystic Dreams in Emotional and Relationships. And then we'll go on to the Tarot, I'm sorry, the Divination of Ascensions for a follow-up poll. Let us take a look and see what's going on with you, Taurus. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, Taurus. So first thing that comes up for you is Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands typically tells us we got a lot on our plate. Um, this means that the hits are going to keep coming. You're going to feel like you're in a batting cage. And as far as that goes, three of coins references money. So if you're pulling money together or feeling like you're working too hard, you might be doing quite a bit of labor. Three of coins and the eight of coins, um, one having to do with budget and the other one having to do with work. So you might feel the pinch a little bit of your budget and trying to apply some of your money different areas and aspects of your life we do have the world card and the empress so the empress is referencing house and home so if you feel like you need to protect that do that first by all means you do have the ace of cups see i know lately we've been feeling a lot of love energy we have the ace of cups and the queen of cups love and money is the same energy <laughs> however we do have the five of cups five of cups references you having a distrustful look toward others right now and that is really all about just miscommunication and mercury right the five of cups is someone who has a tendency to elaborate a little too much and you don't trust their data so if you feel like that's coming up and you're looking at people suspiciously take an extra look slow down a little bit i know i get accused of not slowing down plenty yep and then there's a three of, of swords so you guys are playing with mercury six of swords is completion so if you put some projects out there and started to work on them this is telling us that those projects are going to come into completion and that you're going to get those done and you'll get to sign finally sit still and reap those rewards we do have the two of wands though and two of wands reminds us that if other people are talking or if we find ourselves in the middle if either two two schools of thought or two individuals that are pushing us in different directions that we are the center and we get to choose right so we have the two of wands find yourself going back and forth but remember indecision is a decision so as you're sitting on the fence things aren't getting done and a lot of times some opportunities do expire and so you'll find yourself stuck with one when you don't make the conscious choice yourself Nine of Cups is referencing abundance and celebration. So you may have some tight deadlines coming up this week. You may have some pressure to spend your money wisely. Um, and you might be trying to budget and put your money into the right places because we have the five of coins and that's all about um, figuring out the puzzle in the maze, right? So referencing judgment, that's the three-headed dragon and that's tension and pressure. Um, pressure breaks pipes. So if you don't find an outlet and release, you're going to be the one to blow. So make sure you give yourself some space. Consciously clear this energy. That's the five of swords energy, which is like deliberately setting your boundaries early and often so you don't have this boiling point going on. So with your boiling point, remember self-care is key. I'm going to write this one down when I put it in the comments so you guys can know what you're looking at as far as that so mercury retrograde always likes to play with our contracts plays with our travel plans gives us delays you know anything we say even if we type it out in clear black and white it gets misunderstood so watch out for um, text conversations um, see that you're communicating double check um, and extricate yourself from these three-way conversations. If one person is asking you about another or if two people are coming up with different ideas, put them all in the room together so you don't feel like the mediator on this one or take the heat for um, mis, um, uh, you know, allaying the wrong information, misconveying the wrong thing. Eliminate the middleman. Don't be the middleman. But I do see the Ace of Cups. That's an excellent card to be having that you're feeling um, fulfilled and you're feeling um, a lot of joy right now, too, with this Nine of Cups. That might even be that you're planning to see family or have a vacation coming up, especially with the World card on the back end there. Maybe that's what you're trying to put money toward is budgeting for a vacation. So let's pull from the um, Mystic Dreamer Tarot and let's see what we have going on for emotions and relationships shall we if you want a reading with me karmaondeck.com or come find me on my psychic one let me know where you are in the world and how you like your reading give me some feedback if you want a one-on-one -on -one, i have some afternoon appointments today let me know here we go so the first thing that comes up is the two of wands the two of wands next to the nine of swords you're staying up late at night picking apart 
your relationships, your choices. And again, we have the two of swords. So that's you sitting on the fence with some ideas. Don't cut any corners though with relationships and don't take the easy road because the seven of swords is referencing us um, like really taking things just the not the way that we're supposed to we do have the nine of cups and that's all about regret so you're re you're like sitting here beating yourself up i always say don't should yourself um the world card again so again second reading we do have the world which tells us that there is some possible travel for you potentially near water we do see ace of pentacles if you're trying to find a solution for that it looks like it's going to line up for you ace of wands is all about decision making I love that we're seeing the cups a lot right now. I'm kind of tired of seeing the two of swords and a bunch of chaos going on, but you do have the chariot. So I'm going to go with a travel coming up for you. Like I said, I can't take that one as a win because it's often common for people to travel during the holidays. However, travel is coming up for you. I do see the two of cups. There might be a re you reunited with a lover or feeling some balance within your love relationship. I am seeing though too that there might even be like if you, if this is relationship to a lover, I see that you're really trying to figure them out. And because you can't figure out what their path is, you're starting to look at yourself and figure out what it is you want with this path. Do see two of cups. That's my favorite. Yep. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of changes. If you're expecting change from an individual or in your relationships, we're seeing the eight of pentacles. That's repetition and redundancy. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing because the eight of pentacles means repetition gets it right. So perfecting something. Um, and you feel like you're sitting... Some of you out there are sitting on a choice between two individuals or two paths. We have the two of pentacles and the two of swords. Two of swords creates decision pressure and the two of pentacles shows us the benefit of those two choices. We have the tower card here too and you're really feeling the pressure like the storm's about to rise if you don't start making moves and changes. So the tower card is telling us that impending doom feeling um, is really on our shoulders right now because we have decisions to make. Be kind to yourself on this level, guys. You're going to make the right choice ultimately. Trust your subconscious mind. Go into meditation. I just did a really drastic move, and it was the best thing that I could have ever done. And I trusted that restlessness to remind me I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. So here you are, guys. I'm going to pull from Divination of the Ancients and wrap this up for you. I'm going to bet this card is yours on the top because it keeps trying to fall off. So we're going to go with my intuition on this one. Ow. clouds <laughs> so the thing about clouds is the clouds are all about light and dark in the light or in the sunshine it's about the light and dark revealing itself to us so the clouds mean mystical here we go Taurus so a wonderful gateway is opened up for you and you're experiencing mystical occurrences. Do not discount these encounters as mere figments of your imagination. What you're witnessing is very real. So use your natural and psychic gifts to explore the esoteric realms. Allow the images you will see in the sky above and the loving voices you hear to gently guide you. As you become a visionary, you will experience the elation of connecting with the supernatural. Free yourself from worry, peace of mind through meditation and journey with your guides and your angels there's that meditation i was talking about start connecting with that it grounds you it makes you recognize that you're not alone in this and that you truly are guided tap into that so it says journey with your guys and angels release control as you float into altered consciousness and defy laws of the physical so many people aspire to a state of nirvana you are on your way there your incantation for the week a mystical kingdom exists in my mind. I seek the signs and clouds, and there I shall find a touch and a whisper to call my name as the clouds lift me higher, and there I shall reign. So it's telling you your imagination is key. So tap into your subconscious mind, come up with those solutions, and trust yourself. Thanks for hanging out with me. Catch me on the live. I will see you guys next week.